Hi, I'm Mr Parker and this is question 6 on the OCR Core 2 paper from June 2014. For more questions on this exam paper, click the link here or check in the video description. In part 1 we need to find the binomial expansion of, in a bracket, x cubed plus 2 over x squared all to the power of 4, simplifying the terms, and then in part 2 we need to find the integral of that function as well. So the formula for the binomial expansion is given in the formula book, it looks like this here. And we need to use this to expand out x cubed plus 2 over x squared to the power of 4. So first of all, we need to identify what numbers we're going to use for a, b, and n. a is just the first term in the bracket, so a becomes x cubed. b is the second term, 2 over x squared. And n in this case is 4. So all we need to do is substitute these values into the right-hand side of this formula here. But we need to make sure we're careful because we're substituting in powers of x and we already have powers here as well. So for the first term where it says a to the power of n, that's going to become x cubed all to the power of 4. Be careful to start off with brackets around the terms that you're substituting in. That will make it easier for you to deal with powers and multiplying things out later on. For the second term, we have n choose 1 here. So n is 4, so this becomes 4 choose 1, which we'll deal with on our calculator in a bit. We get a to the power of m minus 1. Well, n is 4, so this becomes 3 here. And notice how, in general, the powers of n for each term are just decreasing by 1 as we go along. So the first term was a to the power of 4. The next term will be a to the power of 3, so we get x cubed to the power of 3. But we've also got a b in this term, so we need a 2 over x squared as well. In the third term, the power of a goes down by 1, the power of b goes up by 1. So we're going to have 4 choose 2 for this bit, and then we're going to have x cubed squared, and we're going to have 2 over x squared squared as well. For the fourth term, we're going to have 4 choose 3, we're going to have x cubed just to the power of 1, and we're going to have 2 over x squared cubed. Finally, at the very end, we have b to the power of n, which is going to be 2 over x squared to the power of 4. At the moment, this looks a bit messy, so we're going to need to tidy it up a bit. The first term, we've got x cubed to the power of 4. The rule for dealing with indices when you've got brackets is that you multiply the powers, so that becomes x to the power of 12. To work out the values for 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2 and so on, you may know them from Pascal's triangle for small powers of n, but I'm going to show you how to do it on the calculator anyway. So to enter 4 choose 1, first we enter a 4, and then we're looking for the NCR button on your calculator, and it's in yellow above the divide button on my calculator, so I'm going to press shift divide, and it says 4C, and then I put my 1 after that, and that tells me that it's 4. So this bit here will become 4 multiplied by x to the power of 9. We've still at the moment got our 2 over x squared. We'll just leave that as it is. Next up, we've got 4 choose 2. So 4 choose 2 is 6. So we're going to get 6 multiplied by x to the power of 6. And then if we expand out these brackets here, we get 2 squared for the top of the fraction and x squared squared, so the x squared becomes x to the power of 4. Okay. The most common mistake in these kind of questions is that people don't apply the power to any numbers within these brackets here. For the next term, we've got 4 choose 3. And that gives us 4. We're going to have x cubed to the power of 1, that's just 4x cubed then for this term, multiplied by 2 over x squared cubed. Well, 2 cubed is 8, and x squared cubed becomes x to the power of 6, so we get 8 over x to the power of 6. For the final term, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, divided by x squared to the power of 4 gives us 16 over x to the power of 8. Finally, we just need to tidy up a little bit more. We'll leave the x to the power of 12 as it is. Here, we've got a 4 multiplied by 2 and an x to the 9 divided by an x squared. Well, 4 times 2 is 8, and x to the power of 9 divided by x to the power of 2 becomes x to the power of 7. Here, we've got 6 multiplied by 4 gives us 24. x to the 6 divided by x to the 4 gives us x squared. 
For the next term we've got 4 multiplied by 8 is 32 and we've got x cubed divided by x to the power of 6 which is x to the negative 3 or just 32 over x cubed. We don't need to do anything with the last term because that's already simplified which gives us 16 over x to the power of 8. In part 2 we need to integrate the function x cubed plus 2 over x squared to the power of 4. Well we'll use the binomial expansion we've just found and instead of integrating this we'll integrate the powers here. But in order to integrate these last two terms it's probably going to be easier to write them as negative powers. So this becomes 32x to the negative 3 and this becomes 16x to the negative 8. So the integral of our original function up here is the same as integrating the binomial expansion we've just found. To integrate each term, we need to increase the power by 1 and then divide by the new power. So increasing the power here gives us 13, and dividing by the new power gives us 1 13th of x to the power of 13. For the next term, if we increase the power, that becomes 8, and 8 divided by 8 is just 1, so we get x to the power of 8. For the next term, it becomes x cubed, dividing through by the 3 gives us 8x cubed. Be careful with the negative powers, because increasing negative 3 by 1 gets us to negative 2. Dividing through by negative 2 gives us negative 16 for the coefficient, so we get minus 16x to the negative 2. For the last term, increasing the power gives us negative 7, and dividing through gives us negative 16 over 7, which we can't really simplify anymore. And then finally, we must remember to add a constant onto the end.